So now suppose that we have three people splitting up a cake. Um, three-person division is much more complicated than two-person division, and so we're going to look at a few different methods. The first is called the lone divider method, and in this method, as the name implies, there is one divider who is chosen to divide the cake into pieces. Uh, so in this case, we have our cake here, uh, and uh, our divider comes along and chops it up into into three pieces. So here, there's our three pieces of cake. Uh, we'll call them piece one, piece two, and piece three. Uh, and each player, uh, in order to know how the division's gonna play out, we, uh, as outside observers, need to know what each person's valuing is. So chooser one, this is one of our people, uh, values piece one here as 40% because, you know, maybe it's got some, you know, fancy decoration on it that they really like, and the other two pieces they value at 30%. Notice that this is the only piece, piece one, that this person values as a fair share. Remember, with three people, three people, the fair share would be 33% or one-third. Now, chooser two, uh, another person playing, uh, really doesn't like player piece three as too much. Uh, piece two's okay, but piece one is the only one that they value as a fair share. They value it at, at 45%. Now, the divider, of course, values all the pieces equally because that's their job. Uh, they don't know which piece they're gonna be left with. And so, the, d the loan divider method works like this. Each player is going to make a bid. So they're gonna list all the pieces that they value as a fair share. And so chooser one is gonna say, I only value piece one as a fair share. Chooser two is gonna say, I only value piece one as a fair share. Now, we have a problem here. Now, I I if it turns out that each of them bids for, uh, different pieces, and there's some way to divide it up, then we go ahead and just divide it up. Uh, if not, then we're stuck in this situation, and this is called a standoff, and we can't immediately allocate the pieces. Now, we have two pieces that are uncontested, piece two and piece three. And so what we're gonna do is we're going to flip a coin, uh, to decide which piece the divider gets, because the divider's happy with any of them. So we flip a coin here, and we conclude that piece two goes to the divider. So now what's gonna happen is we're going to take, uh, p piece one and piece three, reassemble them, uh, so we're gonna shove those two pieces of the cake back together. Remember, piece two's gone now. And so we're gonna recombine, uh, our, our, our cake. And so piece one and piece three are gonna get combined. Uh, for chooser one, those two pieces are gonna have a combined value of 70% of the whole. For our second chooser, they're gonna have a combined value of 70% of the whole. Uh, and now, since there's only two people left, they can simply do the basic divider chooser. Oops the basic divider chooser method. In other words, uh, one of them will become the new divider, and they will come up here and say, okay, I'm gonna redefine the cut here. So now here's the new, uh, piece one and piece three. Uh, and then the other player gets to choose their piece. Notice that, let's say this player is the new divider they're gonna divide it up into two pieces, each worth 35%. Which means no matter which piece the chooser one then decides on, they're gonna get a piece that they value as 35%, which is a fair share. And we know the same is true of the other chooser, so all players will get a fair share in the end.